Hello, I'm looking at 3.3, chapter 3.3, homework question 9. And in this question, uh, for a random sample of 20 automobile models, we record the value of the model as a new car, and the value after the car has been purchased and driven uh, 10 miles. So we're looking at the difference between these two um, in a web, I'm sorry, in the uh, spreadsheets given to us, and we're looking at depreciation value. So how much does a car depreciate That's in uh, 10 miles? Um, so I've already downloaded, I clicked here um, before the video, I'm going to download the uh, car depreciation CSV file. And I'm going to go over to stat key because we want to find the mean and standard deviation. So I've got stat key open because I want to find the mean and standard deviation. And we're going to be looking at bootstrap distributions. Um, I want to go to the bootstrap confidence intervals and we're doing a single mean. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to upload file. I saved mine to downloads, carappreciation.csv. So when you download, just make sure to keep track of what file you downloaded the um, spreadsheet file in. Double click. And here we've got the new price versus used price, but we want the depreciation. That's the difference between these two. How much did these cars depreciate? I'm going to click OK. And uh, notice I have a sample size of 20, and it gives us a sample mean of 2355.85. So the first question, we're looking at the mean standard deviation, and I want to run my answers to the nearest integer. So that's 2356. Double check, 2355.85, that's 2356. And running to the nearest integer, the standard deviation, uh, is going to be 857.9, so 858 will be the standard deviation. Part B says use stat key or other technology to create a bootstrap distribution of the sample mean depreciations and describe the center and spread. So I'm going to go back to stat key and I'm going to generate, I like to generate at least 2,000, maybe three or 4,000. Make sure you, uh, you sample at least uh, 2,000 times, I think is fair. Anything more is going to be fine. And uh, notice this is not going to be the same for everyone. If you're doing this homework problem, you might have a different center at the bottom. But it's uh, the question is asking for the center of this distribution. I've got 2359.9. So 2360 would be mine. Um, but this is not going to be the exact same. It should actually be somewhat close to you know 2356. But we're doing a bootstrap. Distributions are random, so if I were to do this again, if I were to say um, reset plot, I have the same sample, I generate a couple more of these bootstrap samples, I would get 2359. So for these problems right here, there is not an exact answer. There is a, a range of answers that um, the online homework will accept, and the standard error is going to be, oh sorry, standard errors right here, 184. 184. Alright, so then I want to use the standard error obtained in your bootstrap, distribu bootstrap distribution to find a 95% confidence interval for the mean amount of new car depreciations by driving it off the lot. So to find this interval, as a reminder, 95% confidence interval is going to be your statistic plus, I'm sorry, statistic minus two times standard error is going to be the lower bound. And the statistic plus two times standard error will be uh, upper bound. So for this problem, the statistic is going to be the um, sample mean, 23.56, am I right? Plus minus 2 times standard error. So in this case, 23.56. So 
356 is the uh, sample mean. And then standard error is going to be the 184. So it's going to be 2356 plus or minus 2 times 184. So if I throw that in my calculator, 2356 minus 2 times 184, the 95 confidence interval will be you know, about 1988. 2 by 2356 plus 2 times 184, 2724. And these are dollar amounts. So we um, are 95% confident that cars depreciate between, sorry, depreciate on average between $1,900, $1,988, and $2,724 just from driving off the lot. 1988 to 27, 24. And I just want to notice, uh, notice right here, I've uh, opened up the solutions. So for part A, there is a definite answer because this comes from the sample data, 2356, 858. Notice the, uh, the author's solution right here, their center is 2354, and their standard error was 187. So there is a range of correct answers for part B. And then depending on what your standard error is, 2356, this should be the same for everyone in the class. But that standard error, I got 154. My example, my bootstrap sample, you might have something different. So you could get a different confidence interval. It should be fairly close to what I have up here or what the book uh, says, but there's not an exact answer on B and C.